Hello, my name is George McGraw, and I'm a physician at the Medical University of South Carolina and also the medical director at Hovian, the sponsor of the study. For years, we've been using tetracycline derivatives such as minocycline and doxycycline orally for the treatment of inflammatory lesions of diseases such as acne vulgaris, acne rosacea, and others. While these treatments have been very effective, we must be careful about the systemic side effects in our patients. The current study evaluates the use of a topical minocycline gel for the treatment of the inflammatory lesions of papulopustular rosacea. This gel is formulated with the minocycline base, which has a near physiologic pH and a lipophilicity, which is advantageous to partitioning into sebum. This minocycline base is formulated with Versagel, which is widely used in the cosmetics industry, but is novel in pharmaceuticals. This gel allows the minocycline to be targeted directly to the inflammatory lesions and easily spreadable on the face. To evaluate the safety and efficacy of this minocycline gel, the current study enrolls 270 subjects across 26 sites in the U.S. These subjects applied the minocycline gel as 1% or 3% minocycline at night for 12 weeks to the face. After 12 weeks of use, the inflammatory lesions had a statistically significant reduction compared to baseline. The 3% minocycline group had a decrease of 13 lesions, and the 1% minocycline had a decrease of 12 and a half lesions. When looking at the investigator's global assessment, there were statistically significant proportion of subjects achieving clear or almost clear skin and a two-point reduction in the 3% minocycline group compared to the vehicle. 46% of subjects had success on this scale in the 3% group, and 38% had success in the 1% group. These efficacy results were promising. Safety was evaluated throughout the study, and there were no prominent safety issues throughout the study. Patients were asked whether or not they liked the product, and most patients reported that they did. Lastly, at week 12, pharmacokinetic parameters were evaluated. Blood draw was done prior to the final dose at week 12, and then at various time points following that dose for the next 24 hours. Systemic levels of minocycline were very low at each time point. These promising efficacy and safety results warrant further evaluation in upcoming Phase 3 studies. We appreciate the British Journal of Dermatology for publishing this study, and we appreciate your interest. Thank you.